everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at Sioka Lincoln of Lawrenceville here in Lawrenceville, New Jersey to check out this brand new 2024 Lincoln Navigator L 4x4 in infinite black with a sandstone leather interior, massive options. So we're going to check out this 24 Navigator L, see what Lincoln is bringing to this supersize, full-size SUV market. So let's dig in. Front end of this infinite black Navigator, massive, massive front end. But let's start, let's do this simply. Here we go. LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, LED turn signals, LED fog lamps that really look cool down below with that crystal look in the fog lamp, functional side air curtains, huge grill, chrome surround, big huge chrome Lincoln badge in the center, front facing cameras up here as well, parking sensors, functionality in the grill top and bottom, just a really big beefy looking front end on this Navigator L. Wheel and tire package on the Navigator L Reserve. We have a 22 inch gloss black machine to lamp, aluminum alloy wheel, Lincoln badge on the center cap, standard brake and rotor package. What we have here as far as tires, we have Pirelli Scorpion Verde all season tires, 285 on the width, the 45 series sidewall 22s, all four corners, four wheel drive. Full side profile on our Navigator L Reserve, infinite black with the chrome, chrome on down on the bottom of the doors. We have brushed aluminum trim that goes from underneath the side view mirror all the way through the windows, all the way through the tailgate, wraps around onto the back of the vehicle. We have that brushed aluminum on the roof rails as well to kind of calm down all the chrome against the black, which I think is a good idea here but just a massive, massive vehicle. We move in closer, there is no flat black around the wheel wells, it's all painted. There's that big Navigator badge in chrome on the side of the vehicle. We have color match side view mirror, LED turn signals, 360 degree view cameras, color matched on the front and rear door handle with some chrome on it to give it a little bling. The left side fuel filler cap. Up top, we have the roof spoiler coming off the top again, brushed aluminum on the roof rail, color matched roof with our panoramic vista moonroof rear end of our navigator l we have a massive rear window the wiper down below it would have been nice for them to tuck that up but it's very flat on the back so they'd have to extend the spoiler so let me know there's the brushed aluminum right underneath that the lincoln name spelled out led tail lights that come all the way across the tailgate which look good led turn signals then we have color matched all the way down the panel right next to the exhaust is for the towing package and we'll go over those numbers when we look at the engine and then we have a dual exhaust twin pipes tucked up underneath the right side of the vehicle all right we're under the hood of this 24 navigator l what do we have for a power plant well we have lincoln's 3.5 liter ecoboost v6 engine mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission 440 horsepower 510 pound-feet of torque. This Navigator can tow up to 8,100 pounds. MPGs, 16 in the city, 22 on the highway, 18 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 87, so you can run this on regular unleaded gas. All right, before we get into the interior, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much is this going to cost? Because these Navigators, they're really big and they're really, really useful to carry a lot of stuff, but they're so expensive. And you know what? You are right, and this one is no different. So what are we looking at? Base price for the 24 Navigator L 4x4 reserve trim is $98,350. Now this Navigator has over $8,300 in options. So we gotta add in the equipment group 201A, the luxury package for an additional 6,310. Then we got to add in an additional 1,995 for the monochromatic package, which gets you the body color exterior mirror, uh, mirror finish, monochromatic Lincoln badge, the 22 inch gloss black aluminum wheels. Then everything else is included, right? So we got 373 gears out back with a limited slip diff, 
we got the four-year Blue Cruise in this, which is that autonomous driving that you can have the car drive down the road for, by itself on the highway. Again, that's only certain highways that are equipped with Blue Cruise, but it's kind of like Cadillac's Super Cruise. So then we got to add in $1,895 for destination and delivery from Lincoln's Louisville, Kentucky assembly plant. And we have a total MSRP for this vehicle from the factory of $108,550. Let's check out the interior. All right, get in the front door. I do want to show you the power deployable running boards. You open the door. Our running boards come down to help you get in the vehicle. Very, very nice. Here we go. Nice big foot box with the all-season mats. Rubber finish on the brake and accelerator. Looks fine. And the, uh, the all-weather mats say navigator. And they go up on top of the dead pedal to protect that carpeting, which is a good idea. You got the illuminated Lincoln door sill plate to welcome you to the vehicle. We have power seats in every which way. And they're on the door right here. So we got all sorts of power action, three memory seat settings. We have this thigh support and we have side bolstering support. And then we have our massage functions as well. So they got all sorts of action going on in here. And then of course, it wouldn't be remiss without having power fold mirrors on a navigator. So there's how that action works. It's all leather, it's all beautiful. Sandstone is the color. Not exactly my interior choice. I'd probably go, up, go with like a gray or a black, but because this is going to pick up a lot of staining, but they're beautiful. They look gorgeous. The headrest is beautiful. They're soft. They're supple. They just look beautiful. Door panels looking beautiful. We got this chocolate brown with sandstone two-tone, which looks gorgeous. Soft touch up top. Leather on a super soft armrest. We have this Revel Ultima sound system in this navigator, and we have a nice large door pocket as well. And then we have standard, I'm gonna move over to the driver's side. We got the standard door handle to open and close the door. Remember in 2023, they had a little button that popped the door open, and then if the battery went dead, you'd have to pull the emergency release down here. Well, Lincoln scrapped that. They just went with the simple open the door, close the door like any other vehicle. I think that was a good move. The other one could have been a little bit too, too complicated if something went wrong. There we have our chocolate brown up top, beautiful open pour wood, and that's real wood, nice and looking beautiful. And we have our stand, sandstone soft touch with stitching. And then down below here, we have a monstrous glove box. Into infotainment screen, we got the 13.4 inch SYNC 4 wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. Look how responsive Sync 4 is. You got your audio. You bring in your Bluetooth, your phone, Sirius XM, HD radio channels. Blue, uh, there's your Bluetooth phone. There's our nav. There's our favorites if you want to add favorites. You got your apps in here. There's our wireless CarPlay Android Auto for you right there. There's your general vehicle settings where you can do everything. Set up your Wi-Fi hotspot. Set up your driver profile. Then you got your features where you can operate the running boards, get your towing trailer going, add a trailer, select the trailer, manage trailers, trailer connection notifications. So they got you all set up for the towing and this can tow a pretty good amount of stuff. And then we have our climate right here where we can adjust our heated steering wheel and we can go to our fuel economy or we can go to climate or we can go to our Sirius XM. So we have like this dual panel action, which I like paired phone and there's your performance on your trip odometer. So they got all sorts of action going on on this navigator, which I like. And as we come down further, oh, excuse me, before we do that, we got to go to reverse for a backup camera. There we go. There's a beautifully clear backup camera with 360 degree view, nice and clear with trajectory, tow center line, takes up the entire screen. Good job, Lincoln, on that one. We go back to park, two heat and air vents, four-way hazards. Those are your cameras. So you can hit the button, get your cameras operating. Obviously, you can go to other views. So you can go to your front view camera. You can go to a wider uh, view. You can go to, there you have it, that side view mirror view. So they got all sorts of views. And you can go back to that regular one, or you can go back to your original setting. So they got you covered there for your cameras. 
which is nice. Push button to go through this 10-speed automatic. Now we have our dash. Now we do have some gloss black plastic, so be careful of fingerprints here. But we have a volume and tuning knob, which is nice. And look at this action here. We got three-stage heated seats and three-stage ventilated seats for the driver and the front passenger. Dual climate control action, so that's a good deal. Of course, I've already mentioned the heated steering wheel. We move down further. Look at this huge area, and look at this open pour wood design on here instead of gloss black. Love that. Push this down, open it up. USB-C, USB-A, wireless charging pad, and a 12 volt. We have another little area here for some coins or whatnot. Two cup holders, our Lincoln key fob. Here we go. It looks just like a Ford one. Unlock, lock, remote start, pop the tailgate, panic button, Lincoln badge on the back. And then we have our massive center armrest here. But before that, you got your electronic emergency brake, your drive modes, engine auto stop, start, on, off, auto vehicle hold, and this is your parking assist right there. We'll go over to drive modes when we take a look at the dash. Then our massive armrest, open it up. Look at all that. we got a removable tray that can be, we can set up in here to put stuff in. And then we got a 12 volt. So we're all set. Leather wrap steering wheel, Lincoln leather wrap steering wheel, chocolate brown with the stitching and the Lincoln badge. Beautiful round bottom wheel, but this passenger cabin is so huge. I don't, I got plenty of room to get in and out of this navigator. Now on the left side here, you're going to go with your adaptive cruise and safety suite controls. Full safety suite in here, blind spot monitoring, crash, cross traffic alert, lane keep assist, pre-collision avoidance system, all that action is in this navigator. Then you have your volume. Then on this side, you have your head-up display, how you want that to look. And then you have your uh, telephone and voice commands as well. We do have paddles to go up and down this 10-speed auto. And then on the left, you got your adaptive high beams and your directionals, front and rear wiper on the right. Your push button start is right there. And then as we come down this way, you can adjust your headlights, fog lamps, pop the uh, tailgate, and then we have bright and dim the dash, and then we can adjust our foot pedals. So you can bring those pedals to you closer to you or farther away from you down there, depending on what, what your maximum comfort level is like. And then when we hit our massage, it shows up here on our center infotainment screen, and then we can adjust what kind of massage we want and where we want to have it. So there you have it, and it is amazing. And look at all those different massages you can get. And that's available for both front seat passengers. Really well done. And then you can just turn it off, and it's going to take you right back, and then you can go back to your home. So piece of cake there. Now, digital dash, we got that 12-inch fully digital dash. Drive mode action, let's see what we got. So we got normal. We're moving on the dial to the left conserve or eco, excite or sport. And then we come back to the right. I wish it just whipped all the way around. We got normal four by four auto. Then we got slippery, slick, icy or loose surfaces. Then we got deep conditions, which is like heavy snow mud. So there you have it. We're gonna go with normal, effortless and balanced. And that would this, this, that's what driving a Lincoln is all about, being effort, effortless and balanced. And then obviously you have modes and stuff you can go through on the infotainment screen. And you can also go through different information and set up your digital dash however you would like. So there's a lot of action going on in this. I could be here all day showing you all the different action, but I am not going to do that because we got to get on with the review. But it's a really nice large dash. Overhead console, massive overhead console. First stop, shades, of course, you need to have those. Now, if you want your LED lighting to come on off and you open and close the door, this button remains off. And when you open the door, boom, lighting comes on and your chimes come on too. And then you have your lighting dim out. Piece of cake. Now, we have a, our panoramic vista roof. And how is that action going to work? These buttons are for the shade. These buttons are for the glass. So to open the shade, it's one touch open. But... It should stop halfway, and then you'll have to hit it a second time, which it does. So we hit it a second time, and it'll open all the way up over the mid-row passengers. Piece of cake. Then we can open up our roof. One touch with our wind buffeter that comes up. And then 
we can close it and we do have a tilt function in here as well and then we can close up our panoramic roof and again stops halfway and you hit it again and it comes all the way closed so they got a lot of action going on there big roof big huge vehicle now sun visor vanity and a light and does it slide yes it does and there's our garage door opener programmables right there so you're all sitting in the mid row captain's chair as we open the door there's that lovely running board that pops down and now we can hop on in plenty of room to get in plenty of room plenty of room for my head shoulders and knees at five foot eleven we got leather all the way down chocolate brown with a seat pocket behind the driver and the front passenger and then from here we can open and close the shade and then down here we got two USB C's a 12 volt and a home power source and more cup holders so they got all sorts of action going on there but the thing that is weird is that this panel is all gloss black there is no rear climate built into this here so we have two little switches and then all this to gain a lot of fingerprints and as you can see as I touch it I get fingerprints all over it so I like them to do something different there now as we look at the rear door panel same action as the front right there looking beautiful chocolate brown sandstone the Revel speakers, here's our front door panel looking good. Here's the rear door panel looking the same. I'd like to see some security shades in here. Don't seem to have any. And then a huge center console with right here. That This is where you adjust your climate in the back. You can go to that. You can turn it on right here. And now we can set it just like that. So they got you covered. You can go back to home. You can handle your seats. Obviously, you got three-stage heated, three-stage ventilated seats for your mid-row passengers. So they got you covered there. You can go ahead and choose what you want to listen to from back here as you're being chauffeured around. And then you can also go to your vehicle settings and go ahead and change how those look. So they got you covered there. And then you got this massive armrest again. And then we open that up. We got a huge area for storage. And of course, a couple of cup holders. If I didn't mention that already, but very comfortable here in the mid row. Getting in the third row, you just come to the one of the captain's chairs, pull that, and this will then move up and out of the way. You have to kind of push the seat with you. Now you got plenty of room to get in onto the running board and then into the third row seat. And of course, this is the elongated version of the Navigator, and the back seats are comfortable. Same type of action in the back seats as far as materials, but we can recline our third row. We got a cup holder, we got connectivity on either side. We got some lighting, we got heat and air vents in the ceiling. Here's our connectivity over here and two cup holders on the left side and reclining action. And if I wanna sit back here, I got plenty of room for my head, knees and shoulders for a long, beautiful, comfortable drive in the third row of this Navigator L. And since this, this is the elongated version, you would kind of expect it to be that comfortable, but it is really just sensational back here. All right, cargo area time in this Navigator L, and we have a separate window function here. So if you want to just open the rear window, just say so you got to just throw something in, there's a button over here on the left underneath the I in Lincoln. You hit that, that'll snap, and you can lift up the window. And then you can just reach in, grab something, or drop something off, and then just push it down. So I like that. Now to open the whole tailgate, that button is underneath the L in Lincoln. When you hit that, when you do that, nice electric assist on the way up, nice electric assist on the way down using this button right here. And then with the third row up, you're looking at 36 cubic feet of cargo space in the back of this Navigator, massive number. And then, of course, here's our carpeted floor mats that I mentioned earlier. Chocolate brown with the stitching. Would have been nice to say Lincoln or Navigator on here. Here's our front license plate bracket as well. Underneath here, you got a jack. You've got your wheel locks. you got some extra storage. Now, the spare is tucked up in behind our tow hitch. So if I bend down and give you a shot of it, there she blows underneath the vehicle. So thank you, Lincoln, for the spare. we got LED lighting back here. We got 12 volt action back here as well for power, tie downs, and then we can power fold our third row and we can power fold the second row in the Navigator or the mid row. 
beautifully done, or we can do them together. I'm going to do them together and give you the action. You ready? Three, two, one. Takes a little while. We're kind of slow. But now we're down. Just got to pop this down. The seat belt's in the way here. There we go. There we have it. Now, mid-row action. Now, that's not a power fold. They're just going to spring load and drop. We'll hit the middle button. Boom. Down they go beautifully. And now, get this. All seats down. 120 0.2 cubic feet of cargo space in this navigator massive number so if you got big stuff to haul or a huge family to haul this may be something you want to get some action going on look how big and wide it is tall items long items you're all set in the back of this navigator great use of space back here navigator window sticker here we are zooming on in look at that 24 navigator l stand equipment across the top Options down below. Total MSRP made by Lincoln Wright here in Louisville, Kentucky. Of course, I'm in New Jersey, but I mean the United States. Fuel economy. Crash ratings. Let's take this baby out for a spin. We are on the road in this 24 Navigator L Reserve, and this thing is just a massive vehicle. But I do have to say, the head-up display in here is fantastic. It's nice and large. I can see it easily. It's well positioned on the windshield in front of me. It's, gonna, it's giving me the temperature, the time of day, my speed, the speed limit on the road, how far I have to go before I need gas. And if I had my turn-by-turn -turn navigation on here through the uh, system, that turn-by-turn -turn navigation showed up my head-up display, head display as well. So really nice. Great visibility out the windshield, side glass, rear-view mirror, side-view mirrors, blind spot monitoring, cross-traffic alert, lane keep assist. All that jazz is in this navigator. What an engine. This 3.5 liter EcoBoost puts out serious power. 440 on the horsepower, 510 on the torque. You can hook this up to 8,100 pounds. Obviously, it's not a corner carver. It's going to lean like crazy. But a workhorse of an SUV, if you need something this big, whether it be for family or whether it be for trips, um, this thing is going to do everything you would want it to do, and then some. It's got all the tech in the world you could ever want, including the massage seats for the front passengers. Would have been nice to see that massage for the mid-row. That would have been oh, just that little extra something something for sure. Uh, but it's got all the tech. Heated ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, uh, wireless charging, USB-A, USB-C. Uh, connectivity, huge SYNC 4, wireless CarPlay, Android Auto, heated seats in the back. Would have been nice to have ventilated seats back there too. No, it does have ventilated seats back there too. Duh! And would have been nice for the massage is what I was saying. But the turning radius here is pretty massive at 21.65 feet. So we'll see if this thing makes it around without a K-turn. No. It will not. But now you get to see my backup camera working, and it's beautiful. And it takes up the whole screen, which I really like. Now I think I'll put on my massage. There we go. Feeling good on the low back. <laughs> now we're going to take off, right? We have a new engine. We're going to feather in the gas here in three, two, one. It just pulls and pulls and pulls. This 10 speed is right up the alley for this vehicle. It is set up with this 3.5 liter EcoBoost beautifully. Smooth shifts up and down. Steering is a little light and, and soft, but you know what? 
it's a people hauler at the end of the day, and it's a luxury SUV, being a Lincoln, with these super comfortable massage seats. Massage is feeling really good on my back, too. And down and around we go. So, it's got a lot of things to like about it, but the question all becomes, is it worth 1085 to somebody who wants to buy it? That's a lot of money for a full-size SUV. The full-size Expedition Max Platinum, you're probably looking at nine, low, high 80s, low 90s. So here with the Navigator, we're at 1085. That's a lot of money for this reserve Navigator. Uh, and so let me know, is it worth 108500 to you in this format to buy new? Or would you buy one, and let's say after a few years used, and, you know, take advantage of depreciation? Let me know that in comments. Or are you going somewhere else? Are you going Cadillac Escalade? Are you going Jeep Grand Wagoneer instead? Or maybe even the GMC Yukon? Are you going to go that way instead? Let me know in the comments about how you like this Navigator, what do you think about the price, and what do you think about the competition, and where would you spend, if you were in the market for one of these, where would you spend that hard-earned luxury full-size SUV money? Let me know in the comments. But I want to thank Sioka Lincoln of Lawrenceville for allowing the channel access to this 2024 Lincoln Navigator L Reserve for review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care everyone.